Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're gonna talk about the newest Windows 11 build from Microsoft. They launched a new one. This one is 22K.71. We have a few things that are new and a lot of bugs and errors fixed in this new one. So I think this is very, very good. In this video, we're gonna talk about some important changes and of course some fixes that we were waiting for in this new build. I'm very happy that Microsoft launches almost every week a new build, so we have a lot of content to talk about and uh, a lot of content to see from Microsoft, which is uh, really, really good. I think Microsoft is going in the right direction, as you will see now with the newest additions to this new build. First of all, Microsoft launched a new widget, a new entertainment widget, as they call it. This will be a widget that allows you to see the new and featured movie titles available in the Microsoft Store. So basically, if you didn't know, in the Microsoft Store, you have this entertainment thing where you can see the latest movie titles in this case. For me, is pretty bug right now, I don't know why. Basically, this widget will allow you to see the newest movies or titles that appear, and when you click on them, you will be redirected to the Microsoft Store. This can be enabled by going in the widgets and then add widgets, and as you can see, it does not appear to me here. On the screen, you'll see a preview of that widget. I don't know if this is locally for me or is a bug that is coming up with this new build, but I cannot see that new type of widget. That's no issue because either way I wouldn't have used it, I think. But of course, I don't mind these new additions. The biggest change in this new build for me is the new context menu. As you can see, the context menu is now updated and Microsoft says is updated to use acrylic material, which basically means a translucent texture. As you can see, it blends really well with the background. It has a translucent texture is really, really cool with, with these rounded corners. It looks really, really good. It really adds a new and interesting design to this context menu. And I think this is very good. Let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this new context menu. Microsoft is also testing the usability of a split button for making new folders and files in the File Explorer command bar. So um, if you want to learn more about it, of course, check out the blog link down below in the description where you have the official blog of a Windows and there you can see all the new things, all the fixes, all the um, changes. And of course, you'll have these links to the Windows developer section where you can see code and all the functions that are used in creating these new buttons, in this case, the split button. Another new thing is the taskbar previews. As you can see, they're updated to match Windows 11. They're very nice, rounded corners and stuff like that. Really, really cool. This looks very interesting for all apps, so I think this is a great new addition to Windows 11 in this new build. These would be the most important changes, but Microsoft has a lot of new things that, of course, you'll see listed in bullet points in the article from the description, but I'm gonna mention some of them. One of them that is really cool, if you click on the start menu, you can now click in any other space and the start menu will disappear very good. This thing was bugged for me sometimes, so I think this is uh, really, really nice that they worked on it and the start menu is now not stuck on the screen. As you know, if we right click on an item from the taskbar, it brings us this new jump list. But if we use Shift plus right click, it opens up the classic window menu, which I think is really nice. They also fixed some problems with the settings app that used to crash when opened. I've encountered this myself, so I think this is very nice. Another new thing, if you're using dual monitors, if you hover over the search box, you will see this menu. And now if you hover over on the second monitor, this menu will appear on the right monitor, so this is a good fix. We also have a fix for Alt plus Tab getting stuck, so now Alt plus Tab should not get stuck anymore. This is very, very nice. And also a lot of fixes in the File Explorer because the File Explorer with these new settings, it was pretty bugged and they are starting to fix some of those problems and that's very good. For me, these are the most important changes, but as I've said in the description down below, you're gonna have the link to the official Microsoft blog or the Windows blog and here you will see all the fixes and all the changes in bullet points and you can see if your issue or problem was fixed. I'm very glad that Microsoft brings us a lot of builds weekly so we have a lot of content to talk about and a lot of new things to react to and see the development of Windows 11. This is really, really cool. Also, let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this new Insider Preview build and if you installed it in your testing machine or your virtual machine, wherever you are testing it. If this video is useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any new videos. As Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.